Gentlemen, welcome back to the shop. In our little project, we'll be building a mitre sled for my cheap little uh, skill saw. Now, I'm doing this out of scrap, and uh, it is what it is. Um, I've always wondered one of the problem is I can't have a, a massive, massive jig for it because I don't have place in my shop. So, um, what I've done is I've cut uh, three pieces off. I think this is what. 75 by 30, 75 by 32 um, pine that's going to be the end stop, so we'll get to that just now. But I think what I'm going to do first is I've clamped on a piece of uh, angle iron here, measured it out, to, and I'm going to cut off this section because this is going to be form the basis of our little jig that we're going to build. So, uh, yeah, eyes and ears, let's get into it. now that we've got the whole thing cut up um, I've basically laid it out how I want to do this I've cut that little piece of angle iron I've cut in two pieces that scrap so it's just over I think 500 millimeters long let's call it 565 uh, like I say it's arbitrary uh, as much as you want the thing is what you must remember with uh, doing jigs and stuff is how often are you going to use it point number one and what space have you got for it if you've got a massive workshop uh, you'd obviously not be building a jig like this. Probably have... Ow. Got some steel in me. Sorry. Uh, you'd probably have a massive table saw that you can use instead of this thing. Or a mitre saw or whatever. So work with what you've got. Um, I doubt that this is ever going to see something really thicker than 18mm shutter ply which fits in here nicely. Uh, so... I might even bring it in smaller. The reason why I'm gonna why I'm building this is uh, I've got a job coming up that I'm gonna do some skirtings in my house, uh, and I need something to chop them up and up up and cut them at 45, and that's what this build is actually for. Uh, so this will sit like that, something like that. Have the saw captured like that. This one uh, I will measure and move that when it hard up on the stop on that side that that section is past the center line of the saw so you know you're going through whatever you've got stacked up against there now I'm tall so I can still reach there but uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off this portion here make it even smaller and do a little lip on here in, in some way I'll see how I'm going to do that uh, to hook that on the edge of a table and then you can run whatever in there and, and, and cut it up so that's going to be the the next portion is going to be marking out, getting everything set up, and glued and screwed together. Um, once I've got all this set up, then we're going to start with the rails and try to get them as close to square as we possibly can. So I'll be back when I start that. The next portion is going to be a bit of a time lapse, so if you just quickly want to run through it, uh, it's going to be measure, mark, drill, and screw it all together. Roughly the center line to the front edge, which, well, right on six inches. Right on six inches. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to, I'm going to run for six and a half. What's that? In metrics. One sixty-two point five. I'm just going to work on the inch scale. It's just a little bit easier. Easier going. Go for six and a half inches, and that's going to be our first uh, riser block.
like this. Oop. Okay. Something like that. Now I'm right-handed, so, and I've got a left-handed saw, so that creates a bit of an issue, but we can probably work around it. I'm not gonna. Now that is a right-handed saw because the trigger sits on the. Not a right hand at all. Right hand at all, but that means you can gone. A bit weird. Any any case, uh, any case, I think what we're going to do is we are going to pull this one out to 600. I think it'll be a good size. I don't think I'm going to really do boards wider than this in this jig. Then I'll get the boards cut to size beforehand. So mark out 600. Less 35. Carry on. Oh dear. Oh dear. Fuck. Ah! Now this thing is in the way of marking. Oh, not entirely. It's very close enough. Only if that camera is still filming. That's one of the things of doing YouTube videos. You never know how long it's going to last, but it seems that it's still going good. Gentlemen, and so far so good. We've got everything fairly up to scratch. Not all square, all right everywhere, but I think we can still make this work. Uh, next, next thing we'll need to do is drill and countersink the rails. Um, now one side's easy. Just something like that. And then we need to draw a hole in here. I'm going to mark them off out off camera uh, and I'll see you back at the drill press. <laughs> Alright, so this is it so far. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this one in. And then I'm going to try and center it up as best I can. And once we've got that, then we'll put the saw in and uh, snug it up. Ah, wrong way around. All right, change of flat. I'm gonna snug this one up and then square this one and then snug that one up. The reason for it is then we can use the uh, actual saw blade uh, to square it up.
Gentlemen, I think that's that. Uh, check it out. It looks like we're fairly square. Let's make a test cut and see where we ended up. Oh yeah, looks like we're a little bit off, but that might just be some blade walking as well. Let's try another piece. Gentlemen, I think that's about as good as we're going to get with the cheap saw that I've got. There's, there's some buckle in the saw itself, so uh, it's not the best of tools, but it'll, it'll definitely work. I think that's about as good as we're going to get. It's definitely better than freehand. Um, so, yeah. I think I'm going to call the video here. Uh, I'm just going to be cutting off a piece, uh, screwing it on here so that we've got that edge that we can hook onto the table here get this thing standing still uh, gents as always thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe and as always stay safe <laughs>